Hello students, welcome back. Let us continue with exercise 10.6 of chapter 10 circles. The second question. So here I have a circle with center O and chords AB and CD. And as you can see, the length of chord AB is 5 cm whereas that of CD is 11 cm. It's been given that AB and CD are parallel to each other. So AB and CD are parallel and they are on the opposite sides of the center. So here I have my center uh, in between chord AB and CD. I need to prove that and the distance between this these two chords that is the perpendicular distance this length over here is 6 cm. If you mark a perpendicular from any point on AB to uh, any uh, point on CD for the perpendicular line then that perpendicular length would be 6 cm. You need to find the radius of the circle. So how would we find the radius of the circle? Very simple question with uh, simple tricks. So what we are going to do is first let's just connect. OA and OC. They are going to be the radii of the circle. So you need to find either the length OA or the length OC. And it's been given that the distance between AB and CD is 6 cm. So let's say we draw perpendiculars from O to AB and from O to CD. So these are the perpendiculars. Right? This entire length here will be 6 cm. Correct. Now, this length is 5, AB is 5 and this is the perpendicular. O, let's call, so I'm just erasing this 5 cm and 11 cm for now. I'll say P and Q. Right, so I have drawn perpendiculars OP to AB and OQ to CD. Now, OP is the perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord AB. Therefore, it will bisect the chord. Therefore, the length AP will be how much? It will be 5 by 2 centimeters. So, this length out here is 5 by 2 centimeters from A to P. Similarly, O is the perpendicular from the center of the circle to the chord CD, which is of length 11 centimeters. Therefore, length CQ will be half of 11, that is 11 by 2. And this length here is 6 centimeters, right? From P to Q. Let's say I call this length O to Q as X. So this length OQ is X. Therefore, this length will be how much? 6 minus X. Right? Now what we are going to do is we are going to apply Pythagoras theorem and find this length OA and OC which are equal. Right? So Pythagoras theorem for this triangle OCQ and Pythagoras theorem for this triangle OAP. We will find the radii okay and then we will equate the radii because we know that the radii of the circle circle uh, of the same circle are equal and then that will help us to find the length of the radius okay so let's go ahead so we will start with the proof writing the constructions i'll see proof join radii OA and OC. Draw OP perpendicular to AB and OQ perpendicular to CD. Now length PQ is equal to 6 centimeters given that length between AB and CD is equal to 6 centimeters, right? So, let OQ, length of OQ be x centimeters. Therefore, length of OP will be 6 minus x centimeters. Let's mark this as 1. Another thing is let length of OA be equal to length of OC be equal to r centimeters because it's the radius. Now length of AP is equal to 5 by 2, right? 
since perpendicular drawn from center of circle to chord bisects the chord and it's been given that length of ab is 5 cm right similarly so let's mark this as 2 similarly i will say length of cq is equal to 11 by 2 cm so this is also cm and i will call this 3 or you can draw ditto marks and say length of cd is 11 Let's mark this statement as four. Sorry, three. Okay. So now we are going to take the two right-angled triangles. So I'm going to take the smaller right-angled triangle beneath. That is right-angled triangle OCQ. Now, in right. angled triangle ocq i will have co square is equal to oq square plus cq square through pythagoras theorem so i'm just writing pyth for pythagoras short form now co is how much it is r it's been given that length oa is equal to length oc so instead of see oc is the same as co so i will just write oc square now make sense so r square is equal to oq is how much we have marked oq as x so oq is x over here x square plus cq cq is 11 by 2 the whole square so which points are we taking from we got r square from let's call this as, let's call this as 3 this as 2 this as 3 and this as 4 right so this is from 2 then you got the length of oq oq is from 1 and cq cq you get through 4 right so from 2 1 and 4 therefore this will be r square is equal to x square plus 121 upon 4 because 11 square is 121 and 2 square is 4 let's mark this as 5 so similarly in right angled triangle so which right angled triangle are we going to take now the upper one that is oap oap i have oa square is equal to op square plus ap square through pythagoras theorem so oa square is how much it is the radius so r square op square is 6 minus x this is here 6 minus x the whole square plus ap square ap is how much it is 5 by 2 in 3 so 5 by 2 the whole square this is from which points r is here so from 2 then 6 minus x we get it from 1 and 3 that is 5 by 2 the whole square therefore i get r square is equal to Now a minus b the whole square is a a square minus two ab plus b square. So this will be thirty six minus two six that twelve twelve x plus x square plus five square is twenty five upon four. Let's mark this as six. If you see five and six, you have r square and r square right on the left hand side. So equals that are equal to the same thing are equal to each other. Therefore, from five and six, we are going to equate the right-hand sides. So, 
so therefore i get x square plus 121 upon 4 is equal to 36 minus 12x plus x square plus 25 upon 4 i'll say from 5 and 6 so now if you notice the left hand side and the right hand side of the equation you have one common term x square so if you subtract equals from equals the remainders are equal so i'm going to discard uh, discard x square from both the left hand side and the right hand side therefore what will i get 121 upon 4 is equal to 36 minus 12 x minus 12 x plus 25 upon 4 i'll see therefore so I'm erasing this side of the board. Please take a note of it if you haven't already. So let's just take uh, write this over here. Whatever we've got, length of OQ is equal to x centimeters. Length of OP. We will be needing a okay. Length of OP is equal to six minus x centimeters. This was one. What else we got? That length of length of OA is equal to length of OC is equal to R centimeters. This was 2. We might need reference to it, so I'm just taking a note of it. Okay. So you have a term with a variable over here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on my left hand side and I'm going to take all the constants on one side. So what will I get? 12x is equal to 36 plus 25 upon 4 minus 121 upon 4. So what we did is we got the minus 12x on the left hand side it became 12x because it was negative here it becomes positive when it comes on the left hand side and we took 121 upon 4 on the right hand side therefore it was positive here so it became negative here so we have swapped the position of 121 by 4 with minus 12x okay so 12x is equal to so now we are going to take the LCM see you have 4 here and 4 here so the denominators are common for these two we can easily do the addition or subtraction for these two terms but how about 36 it is upon 1 therefore you take the LCM and the LCM is 4 so this you multiply by 4 and this you multiply by 4 they will have equal terms in the denominator the same term in the denominator so 36 into 4 is 4 6 are 24 4 3 are 12 13 so 144 upon 4 plus 25 upon 4 minus 121 upon 4 right now you can take a common denominator so i'll say 12x is equal to 144 plus 25 minus 121 upon 4. so 144 plus 25 is 169 169 minus 121 is 8 and 6 minus 2 is 4 so 48 divide by 4 this is 12x so 4 1s are 4, 4 12s are 48, therefore x is e 12 x is equal to 12, therefore x is equal to 12 upon 12 which is equal to 1, therefore x is equal to 1 centimeters. Now we need to find the length of, one second, uh, r x square upon 124, so 1 Okay. So now we got our value of x as 1 centimeters. What did we get? We need to find the value of r, right? So what we are going to do is substitute the value of x is equal to 1 in equation 5 or you can even substitute in equation number 6 to find the length of the radius. But here you have too many terms. Here you just have two simple terms. So I would suggest that go for the simple one. You can even go for the sixth one as I said earlier. So I'm going to say substitute x is equal to 1 centimeters in 5. What do I get? R square is equal to x square plus 121 upon 4. This is from 5. Right? Therefore, 
r square is equal to 1 square plus 121 upon 4. So this is 1. So let's do it here only. This is 1 plus 121 upon 4. So now 1 is again 1 upon 1. So you take the LCM, you multiply the denominator and numerator by 4 because here you have the LCM as 4. Right? So this will be 4 plus 121 upon 4. 4 plus 121 is 125. So r square is equal to 125 upon 4. Now r square is equal to 125 upon 4. So when you take square root on both the sides, you get r is equal to square root of 125 upon 4. So I'll say therefore r is equal to square root of 125 upon 4. Right? Therefore, r is equal to, so how do you find the square root of 125? So you have 125, 5 twos are 10, 5 fives are 25, 5 fives are 25 and 5 ones are 5. So what are the factors of 125? The factors of 125 are 5 into 5 into 5. So the square root of 125 will be square root of 5 into 5 into 5. So you see for the square root you have to take one term out of two terms outside. So the square root of 125 is 5 root 5 and we know that the square root of 4 is 2. So this will be 5 root 5 upon 2 centimeters. So therefore your solution to find the radius of the circle, the radius of the circle measures 5, upon, uh, 5 root 5 upon 2 centimeters. I will say answer length of radius is equal to 5 root 5 upon 2 centimeters. So if you want you can take keep a note of this no problem. So I hope you enjoyed this sum. Please take a look of whatever is remaining because we erased most of the section. Thank you for watching this video. Hope this video increased your knowledge. For more such videos and a completely free educational content, log on to www.epathshala.org or visit our Epathshala YouTube channel. We have each and every question solved for maths, physics, chemistry and biology. So subscribe our channel, share with your friends, like our Facebook page and follow our Twitter handle for regular updates and important educational tips and also win Epathshala goodies. So what are you waiting for? Subscribe this channel and enjoy the freedom of education.